Hello, teacher. I have been looking for you the whole morning. Finally, I found you. Hello, Mike. Thank you so much for inviting me to this English improving class again. No, thank you for giving us the chance to improve our English. Teacher. Well, I have to tell you that your students love to learn new advanced words and phrases. Yes, I have been reading their comments. I'm so happy they can learn and improve their English. That's why today we have a special class. I know many of you like to travel to different places. So, I'm gonna teach you some advanced phrases for travel experiences. For example, my flight was overbooked. It means there were too many passengers and not enough seats. It happened to me last time. I bought a ticket to London, but my flight was overbooked. We had to stay in a hotel. Happily, it was a nice hotel and we, the passengers, had a great time there. Another expression. My flight was delayed cancelled. Terrible situation. Last month, my flight was cancelled due to bad weather. It was raining a lot, so it was dangerous to fly. My luggage was lost. Happily, it never happened to me. Thank God. Another expression you maybe don't know is, I was jet lagged. Do you know what it means? It means I felt tired because of the time zone difference between my origin and destination. Another expression. My hotel was in a seedy area. Seedy means possibly unsafe. Another expression I hope that never happens to you is, I was mugged. I was robbed on the street. I got the runs. It means something very disgusting. It means I have diarrhea. It happened to me when I traveled to Asia. I ate something in the street and I had stomach problems. A very known expression is, the place was a tourist trap. It means the place was made only for tourists. So it is not authentic. When you're traveling and you miss home, you say I can't wait to get back home. Now, I know some of you like drinking alcohol, but if you don't, you should know these phrases anyway. Because it is not used only to talk about alcohol. For example, it's on me. It means, I'll buy you a drink. Another one. I'd like to make a toast. It means, I'd like to honor a person, event, idea. Here's to, your health, the new year, our success. Or just, to your health. It means, a toast raised in honor of the other person. Another round of drinks, please. When you want to keep drinking. Put it on my tab. It means a bill to pay later, before you leave. A expression we like to hear. He's a bit tipsy. It means he is a little bit drunk. Or the opposite. He's completely sloshed, wasted, plastered. It means he is completely drunk. Or when you see a person drinking alcohol for relief from pain or sadness, you can say, She's trying to drown her sorrows. A good expression, I'm the designated driver. It means I'm not drinking alcohol because I will drive other people home later. I had a hangover. I was hungover. Do you know what it means? 
It is the bad feeling you have the morning after drinking too much. Terrible feeling. Of course I never recommend students to drink alcohol. That's something bad. But these are expressions you will hear in a real-life conversation or situation, so you must learn them. So please, if you are one of those who drinks alcohol, it may be time to quit. Think about it. Now I will give you some important comparative idioms. They will help you a lot to express yourself. Like, it's as light as a feather. It means something is very light. It's as dry as a bone. It's as flat as a pancake. Or when he's crazy, he's as mad as a hornet. When something is fast, it's as quick as lightning. He's as strong as an ox. Or when two people are totally different, you say, they're as different as night and day. When someone is stubborn, you say, she's as stubborn as a mule. He's as proud as a peacock. I'm talking about a very proud person. She's as white as a sheet. Usually used when someone is very afraid or very sick. It's as good as new. Used after something broken has been repaired. A car, for example. It's as clear as mud. It is used when something it's not clear at all. Very useful expression. And I have to teach you some advanced expressions for expressing emotions. Flying high, it means very happy. Example, she's flying high after the successful product launch. Pumped up. It means very excited about something. For example, he's pumped up for his first half marathon race this weekend. It means he's very excited. Be down in the dumps, it has a sad meaning. To feel unhappy or without hope. For example, I always feel down in the dumps when I go back to work after a long weekend. Be at the end of your rope, to feel very upset because you're no longer able to deal with a difficult situation. For example, Helen is at the end of her rope after looking for a job for months without any luck. Grief stricken. It is used when you are extremely sad. For example, after his partner died in a car accident, he was left grief stricken. Another one. Bite someone's head off. It means to respond with anger to someone. For example, I just asked one question to confirm his request, and my boss bit my head off. In a foul mood, it means to be irritable, angry or depressed. For example, she's scared to ask for a day off as her boss is in a foul mood today. What else? Oh, look at the time, Mike. It's very late. We don't have time for more now. I was paying totally attention to the phrases. They are very useful. Thank you so much. Teacher, you have helped me a lot. Seriously. I will do everything you said. I promise. But I need more tips to know how to speak English faster, please. Can I come tomorrow? Of course. If you also want to know how to speak fast English, like this video and comment. And if you want more advanced phrases and words, like the video and comment, please. Take care.
Dear listeners, I hope you like this conversation. If you cool and improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with friends. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thank button. Thanks.